What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another vlog. It's time to get the suitcases out. I've waited until almost the last day to get these out because whilst it's not difficult to get them out, I just hate having to rearrange and move everything here. And it is Tetris in there, but we should start packing, so let me get these out. Christmas decorations. done got a little side distracted with a few boxes in there as usual <sighs> now to start organizing a little you packed no no oh god well you've got a long way to go here's all our bags nifty little light I set on a timer so you know looks like people are home and that's it we're just waiting on esmond to come pick us up he is kindly bringing us to the airport. And I think that's it really, isn't it? We've done everything, secured everything. It feels surreal. This is the first time, first time in, okay, November we went to the sister island. It wasn't really getting off island. We, we literally went from a small island to an even smaller island. This is our first time actually as well seeing a proper city since March, 2020. It's just surreal to even think that we're going, isn't it? I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm a little apprehensive too. But we, we did our COVID test yesterday. That wasn't too bad, a bit of a tickle. Not the worst, but far from ideal or pleasant. But done and dusted, we got the results that afternoon, yesterday, and we're all good. We have all these apps and passenger locators and all that kind of stuff that we have to do these days. They're all done. That's it. T minus 14 minutes before we leave. Rushing to find our Uber, we're in the wrong pickup point, and uh, I think he's there waiting for us. Getting our steps in today, that's for sure. So we made it to the back of the Uber. Uh, it was quite a walk, and uh, we've got about 25 minutes drive. Hopefully, there's not too much traffic. Right, so spend the night here, and then do it all over again tomorrow. At least it's just one flight though. <laughs> Whew. That 
is 12 straight hours of wearing a mask. You all right? Sorry, really itchy. I've got to wash my hands before I start scratching my face. I feel like there should be a window there. Okay, so plan is get washed up and then we're gonna head to Whole Foods quickly, just two minutes down the road, grab our Amazon packages, come back, drop them here and then head out for some dinner. This feels like a new beginning We both know what we want Let's just keep it simple Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah So won't you let me trip, trip, trip with you Lead and I'll follow Lead us till tomorrow So won't you let me So no hassles with the Amazon packages Those lockers are an absolute delight to deal with But we're here in Bub City now having dinner very social distance. Very social distance. Great. Yeah, there's a live band. It looks like they're preparing to walk up. Maybe at nine. Maybe. And uh, the whiskey bar. We got a smoke wagon bourbon. It's delightful. Well, that was a lovely sleep last night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, that bed was super comfortable. So we're up bright and early, gonna go get some breakfast. Actually, are we getting breakfast now? No, it's not open eight. Okay, so breakfast isn't open until eight. So we're gonna head to Walgreens, just get some toothpaste and deodorant just before we start our day. And cereals for Barry. And cereals for Barry as well. And then the shopping begins. Uh, a lot of the shops here don't open until 10 a.m. Got a bit of time to waste till then. It's <laughs> like the other thing. So we got to Whole Foods. I'm just having an energy bar just to keep me going. Is it good? So chill here for a few minutes, just nibble on this and then head out and start walking around. Uh, Chicago is really a great city. It's like a, I don't know, I find it's like a cleaner, almost nicer New York. My favorite place. Yeah, it is nice. And once the sun comes out, it's actually it's it's, yeah. it's a beautiful temperature at the moment. It's about 18, 19 degrees Celsius. But it's nice degrees. to just experience that frosty, chill air. The lowest temperature we've experienced in Cayman, I think, is like 23 or 24 degrees Celsius at like 7 a.m. This beautiful. In case you don't know where we are, I don't know if you can see the bean. But it looks like it's cordoned off, obviously COVID and everything. Pop up here and see how close we can get. We were there last, two summers ago actually. No, Christmas actually was the last one. Oh, Christmas. Did we go to the bean at the Christmas? I think so. Yeah, because right. it's all the ice skating. Oh yeah. It's normally an ice skating rink just there. It's hot though. Yeah, it is very hot. Oh no. I lie, it isn't cordoned off. We can get in. Woohoo! We made it to the bean. All right, I killed enough time. Now to hit some more shops. Final leg. A bit of a hectic day. I uh, didn't get to film as much because we were actually rushing a little bit out of the hotel. Um, super hungry, so as soon as we got to the airport, grabbed food, went to lounge for a little bit. We are delayed by about 20 25 minutes. This is it, final home stretch. Yeah, so I guess we'll see you in Dublin. flight was a bit hairy, there was a lot of uh, turbulence just over the east side of Canada. It was kind of scary, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, wasn't Especially because we haven't flown in yeah. so long. Yeah. But we've made it, so 6 o'clock on the dot. Just waiting to um, get off the plane, get our suitcases and then home time.
right, bags collected, time to hit the road. So, finally made it back home, sound. That's the mother deer is running into the shot. But I specifically said to keep the dogs in the back garden, because I haven't seen them in over two years. I'm just curious to know, obviously they'll probably remember me, but are they gonna jump on me or are they just gonna come and sniff me and then just buzz off somewhere, so. Can they come in? They can come in. Chiefy, I haven't seen you run in a while. Hey! Oh. Ooh. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Hey, Copper, you're looking big. He's so So, Chief, Copper, and Copper. So good to see them again. I wonder, does he still... Copper, sit, pop, good boy. Oh, good boy. Still adjusting. It feels as if I didn't leave, but a lot has changed. And I'm being spoiled just a little bit because Mother Dearest is cooking for me. Omelette. Although I keep thinking it's like PM, six, seven, eight, but it's not even, what time is it? 8.30? Nearly 20 to 9. Wonder what it's going to be like later with jet lag. I've still got to unpack properly as well, so we're forgetting that. It's, it's cold. And then again, I did change into shorts and t-shirts again, but it's refreshing. I think Chicago's coldness was a bit better. I'm back only two days and I've already got to start fixing things. So I think, I'm not sure if one of the seats was removed, but if you don't remove the battery before removing seats with like airbags and all that, the airbag light goes on, even though it's fully connected because you have to disconnect. So battery needs to be disconnected first. Uh, however, it wasn't. It was all put back together and the airbag light is on. Now the airbag still works. It's just the sensor is just having a bit of a, a freak out. So I've just got to clear that. We're on the run. This is what we waited for. Okay, it's all reset there. All seems to be good, but been told now after looking at both of these that there's more issue. Front left door of the Golf doesn't seem to lock, doesn't seem to open from the outside. And then on my dad's car, there's a heap of electronical issues. Plugged in the computer there a couple times to clear everything, just kept popping up. Took note of the fault codes. Could be a bad grounding issue, that's what I think, or a bad sensor. I'll just have to check online, see what the fault codes bring me to, and then hopefully get that fixed and then get that serviced as well. So yeah, fun times. Well, at least I have all my tools and equipment here and it's a bit messy in there. I didn't leave it that way. I left it in pristine condition when I left. However, I think that's it for this week's video. Extremely tired, still a bit jet lagged, going to bed at like 2.30 in the morning. So I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back on track, but that's it. So I wanna say thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, maybe consider doing so and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. Smash that like button if you did enjoy it, it always helps. And until next week, see you then, cheers. I want to say thanks very much for watching. I hope you appreciated it. If you did like it, hit that smash button.